Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, Anita. Good afternoon, Carla, Evelyn, Tatiana. <laughs> it's time to start the class. Yes, the class number eight. Can you imagine class number eight? Okay. Good afternoon. How are you? Bye. Thank you. Okay, that's nice. Good. Are you ready for your class? Yes, teacher. Excellent. That's great. Well, today is, what day is today? Mm -hmm. Thursday. Exactly. It's Thursday, January 20. Seven. Twenty-seven. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me share with you the class presentation for today. So we have WH questions and placement of adjectives. That's the, the topic for today's class. The objectives are by the end of this class, you will learn to sound natural when asking simple present questions, WH questions. And the second objective, by the end of this class, you will learn placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn B plus adjective and adjective plus now. Okay. Activities in the agenda. We have, we have the first recalling previous class, activity two, WH questions, activity three, placement of adjectives, and activity four, wrap up. So let's begin with the first activity. I have two questions that I would like you to discuss. What do you do and what does your mother do at work? We have two questions. What does your mother do at work and what do you do? Okay, so I'm gonna ask every person in the class about it. Can we start with Byron because he's the only boy? So today is not going to be ladies first, but gentlemen, gentlemen first. So Byron, what do you do? What do you do, Byron? I am studying. Okay, you are a student. You are a student. Uh huh. The question, what do you do, is que haces, verdad? Que, de que trabajas o que haces, what do you do? So Byron is a student. And what does your yes, mother, I... okay, Byron, and what does your mother do at work? Or if you want, you my... can, uh -huh. yes? My mom makes food. Oh, your mother makes food, wow. I guess she's, she makes delicious food. Okay, thank you, Byron. Great job. Good. Byron, can you choose the next Thanks. person, please? You can choose Anna, Carla, Evelyn, Noemi, Tatiana, or Jenny. You choose the next the next participant. Carla. Okay, Carlita. <laughs> what do you do, Carlita? Well, um, I don't know. Only I study English, English okay. Corporativo. So you are a student? Yes. You are a student? For the moment. Okay. And what does your mother do? Or, uh, you, can my mother... or you can mention another member of the family. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. My mother, she makes food because uh, my mother has a little restaurant. Oh yes, I remember that. So she prepares the food and she sells. Breakfast and lunch, yes. 
Breakfast and lunch, okay. Does she make pupusas? Yes. Yes, she does, okay. Yes, sorry, yes, she does. <laughs> and you, can you make pupusas? Yes, I can. Excellent, that's great, Camila. <laughs> Maruchan. <laughs> and you can make Maruchan soup too, yes. <laughs> That's this. That's my specialty too. Uh, <laughs> so just kidding. Okay, Carlita, you choose the next participant. Mm, Noemi. Noemi Reinado. Noemi doesn't have the camera on today, but we know she's there. Hello, Noemi. Good afternoon. What do you do, and what does your mother or your husband? or any person in your family do? Hello, teacher. Hello, Nani. Did you listen to, to the instructions? No escuchó las instrucciones quizá, verdad? No, teacher, no. Ah, bye. okay. So two questions. You have to answer two questions. Number one, what do you do? What's your occupation? What do you do? Um, I am a student. You are a student. Okay. Great. And what does your mother or your husband or your sister do? You choose any member of your family, but only one. Un miembro de su familia, one member of your family. It can be your husband or your mother or your sister. Mm, my mother. Mm -hmm. What does your mother do? What does she do at work? A... She doesn't uh, not work. Okay, she does not work. Does not work. Uh -huh. So she's a housewife. Ama de casa, housewife. Yes. Okay. And are you married, Noemi? No. You are not married. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Naomi, for your participation. Who is the next participant? We have Tatiana, Emily, Anna, Jenny. Tatiana. Tatiana. Hello, Tatiana. Tatiana, what, uh, what do you do? <gasps> Tatiana, we cannot hear you. Yeah, we, we cannot hear you, Tatiana. You have problems with your audio. Okay. <laughs> or maybe you can type in the chat, but you can hear us. You can listen to us. Can you listen? Escucha lo que decimos? Yes, okay. But we don't listen to you. Mm, maybe... Um, ahí donde dice desactivar audio, tiene una, una pestañita. Ahí puede poner usted eh, eh, seleccionar el altavoz o el micrófono. El micrófono, ajá. Un dos altavoz. Tal vez ahí, ahí está. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Yes. I am a student. You are a student, okay. And what does your mother do or your father? Uh, my mother my mother is a housewife and my father is a truck driver. Okay, so what does your father do at work? What, that, what activities does he do at work? 
um, este, él trabaja para fuera del país. Ok, so you can say he, he travels abroad. He uh -huh. travels abroad. Él viaja fuera del país, ¿verdad? Al extranjero. Sí. He travels abroad. Also you can say he drives, right? He drives uh, long distances. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yes, my father is a driver too, a troll driver. Okay. <laughs> okay, Tatiana, who is the next person? Um, Evelyn. Evelyn, you are the chosen one, Evelyn. So, what do you do? Uh, I am a student. You are a student. You are a student. And my, uh, my uh, husband is a welder. A welder. Oh, okay. And what does he do at work? What are some activities in, he does? Uh, in my house? He. Uh -huh. Yeah, work. He works in houses. Yes. Okay. Does he make doors? Hace puertas? Does he make doors? Ah. Okay. Yes. So he makes doors and he repairs. I guess he repairs things also. Repara cosas. Yes. Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. He's a welder. He's a welder. Un soldador, right? Okay, thank you, Evelyn. Uh, who is the next person? Anna. Anna. Anita. Anita. <laughs> Thanks, Evelyn. <laughs> uh, we, I am a student, and sometimes I help to my husband. Uh, in his clinic because my husband is a doctor and he uh, gives medicine to a patients and helpful something problem in their body to the people something like that. okay <laughs> yes so Anita uh, you help your husband, you say, I help him. Mm, uh -huh. him. So I help my husband. Uh -huh. You don't use to. Don't use to, just I help my husband. Or I, I help, help my husband. Uh -huh. Exactly. And okay, good. So your husband gives prescriptions, right? To the patients. Yes. Thank you so much. And uh, who is next? We have Jenny, Sulma, and Claritel. Sulma. Okay, Sulma, Villeda. Hello. Hello, Sulma. What do you do? ¿Qué hace usted, Zulma? Are you a student? Are you a nurse? Are you an employee? Are you a salesperson? What eh, do you do? Cuidar, ¿cómo se dice? Take care of. Take care of my babies. Okay, you take care of your babies. Your babies. Mm -hmm. Okay, how sí. many babies Two do you babies. have? Two babies. Uh, two. Okay, so you're a, you're a housewife. And what does your husband do? Or your mother? Uh, my husband is drives. He's a driver, so he drives. Drivers. Does he drive a bus or a taxi or Uber?
Eh, él, bueno, en la, en la empresa lo, lo envían a manejar, como a asignaciones, no sé cómo decirlo. Ok, so he's a driver in his, in his company, right? He transport products. Ah, ah, no. okay. Nice. Okay. Thank you, Surma, for your uh, participation. Jenny, Valencia. Okay, Jenny, what do you do? What's your occupation? Uh -huh. I am studying. You uh, are a student. Mom at house to cook and clean. You have your mom to cook and clean. Yes. Okay. And how old are you? Uh, Jenny? How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? How old are you? 25. 25, okay, good, that's good. You are pretty young, you are very young. Does somebody, is somebody 28 or 29 in the class? Is somebody 28 or 29? Byron, Byron is 28 or 29. Okay, high five item because I'm 28, almost 29. Good, so that was the practice. This was to practice and pronunciation, speaking, and listening. Now in the activity number two, we have simple present questions and we have a conversation. He works in a hotel. The conversation is between Rachel and Angela. So I need two volunteers to read the conversation. Who would like? Who would like to be Rachel and to be Angela? Me teacher. Okay, Evelyn, you are Rachel and we need Angela. Only one volume. Okay, Carlita, thank you so much. So, Evelyn and Carlita. Okay, where does your brother born? In a, ho in a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He is a from the agent. How does he like it? How does he like it? Not very much. He does like, like the manager. Does Kuban, what hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's in trouble. <laughs> okay, so this inter this is a very interesting uh, conversation, right? <laughs> so, like her brother doesn't like his work because of the manager, and the other in Angela's Angela's brother is the manager, so. <laughs> Rachel's brother doesn't like Angela's brother. <laughs> okay, good. So look at the questions. We have the first question, where does your brother work? What is the structure? First, we have the WH question. Then we have? Does or do? The auxiliary do, does, in this case, does, because it's the third person, the subject is third person singular, your brother. And finally, the verb in the base form. Where does your brother work? On a hotel. How, this is the other question. How does he like it? 
¿Cuánto le gusta? ¿Verdad? ¿Cuánto le gusta o le gusta? How does he like it? And he says, not very much. And then it says, what does, what hotel does he work for? ¿Qué, ¿En qué hotel trabaja? What hotel does he work for? And he says, the plaza. Y Lisa pregunta, what hotel no va primero das? En este caso es como la pregunta, what time? ¿A qué horas? What time? O what? color do you like? ¿Qué color? ¿Qué hotel? Eh, ¿Qué hora es? En uh -huh. this case, it's good. what hotel does he work for? In case, ¿Para qué hotel trabaja él? That is the structure. This is saying like, what color do you like? What food do you want? Mm -hmm. So you, you can have WH question plus a noun, auxiliary, a subject, verb. Good. And the last question, what does he do? What does he do? ¿Qué hace? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see the, the brothers and their sisters. <laughs> okay, now let's, let's say, let's look at the next. A structure, we have WH plus do or does, plus the subject, plus the word, plus the complement. And we, I have some examples, questions. What does she do? Where does your sister work? When does she start work? How does he get to work? Does she drive or does she walk or does she take the bus, etc.? What activity does she do at work and how often does she have a vacation? How often does she have a vacation? So I have these questions that I would like you to practice the questions with a partner. And what does she do? It can be about your sister, right? If you don't have sister, so you can talk about another person, your best friend, your husband, or your brother. Okay. And so I will send you the pictures, the questions of, in the PowerPoint, so you can have them. Let me share. Okay, les voy a mandar eso y um, me gustaría que, eh, que pudieran practicar la conversación en, en parejas. ¿Y qué les parece si hacen una conversación similar? ¿Verdad? En vez de your brother, las preguntas ahí están, ¿verdad? bien similares, pueden utilizar las que yo les he puesto o pueden poner otras. Una conversación similar, pero diferente, ¿verdad? No le vayan a solo cambiar brother y ponerle sister, ¿verdad? No, no, sí me gustaría que, que pudieran armar la, la conversación. Se los voy a enviar por WhatsApp para que las tengan allí. Y los voy a poner a trabajar en rooms, break up rooms, por el momento. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Martinez. How are you? Fine. That's great, Mr. Martinez, but you're fine. Con calor. <laughs> yeah, it's been a very hot day. Ay, la disculpa por la tardanza. No. Tengo llegando a la casa. <laughs> mm, too bad. Nah, no, just kidding, Mr. Okay, so right now you're, I'm going to send you to groups and you are going to, uh, you're going to create a, um, 
a conversation with WH questions. Okay. A conversation with WH questions. Ok, ahorita sí los pongo en breakout rooms y acuérdense de participar con su de practice de conversation, ok. Ok, vamos a ver qué tal. a estas preguntas a hacer una conversación eh, sí para hacer una conversación similar ah, well, 
Star Wars, ¿qué es? Empezar, Star empezar a trabajar. Ah, gracias. Welcome. Si quiere comienza. Ay, vea, yo no he hecho nada, pero empecemos, Andrea. Eh, where does she, she sister work? Uh, me dijo what my sister uh -huh. uh, yes. um, my sister is a cashier oh really um, my sister works in a in a back Ah, espérenme, espérenme, que me salté, me, eh, me faltó. Ah, no, usted dijo que era cajera, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh, where do you work? Where does she work? Uh, no, listen. No, listen. Ah, where do you work? Eh, ¿Dónde? Where do you? No, where? ¿Dónde ella trabaja? My sister works in a um, supermarket. Oh, really? taco. Oh, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> um, how, how doesn't she like? How doesn't she like it? Oh. Mm. Yes. Ahí, yes. Uh, she like. Oh, excellent. Mm. <laughs> en Carlita. Hola, hola. Sí, aquí estoy. Hice una conversación diferente. Ah. Este, por ejemplo, where does your best friend work in a market? Because in supermarket is the same uh, como mercado, ¿verdad? Y el market es como super selectos, entre otros. Did you finish your conversation? No, teacher. No yet. You are working no with Brandon and Jane. Yes. Yes. When, when. Hola. Um, eh. Um, espera, ya me olvido lo que le iba a decir. Um, make the homework. Um, yes. Do the homework. Do the homework. Do the homework. Teacher, si le pregunto a ella, sería 
What activity does you at work? Yes, what directa. activities? Directamente, what activities do you do at work? Ah, ya. At work. We'll go for a member of the wallet, okay? Vaya, otra, otra pregunta. Otra. Um, Le voy a hacer ajá, esa pregunta, digamos, yo a usted. What activity, activities eh, do, you do, do you do at work? Um, I sleep after the work. No sé si la respondí bien. O sea, descanso, duermo. No sé. <risa> Um, o cómo sería ahí que descansa y duerme ah, sí dormir <coughs> but the question, I'm sorry but the question is what activities do you do at work qué hace usted en el trabajo Ay. ustedes pueden imaginarse que tienen que son teachers doctors nurses mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay. I am teacher. Oh, so I am a teacher. <laughs> es un supuesto teacher. <laughs> That's the best job. <laughs> Bye. No sé si lograron hacer por lo menos una conversación. Ay, disculpe que se se pone raro. Por ratitos no me veo, vea. Sí, ahorita no se ve. Ahorita ya no. Sí. Más o menos. Más o menos. Más o menos. No se arregla. Bueno. Ok. Uh, we, need to call, we need to go to the principal, the main session, ok. I appear now. <laughs> okay, um, I would like to know if you finished uh, creating the conversations. Did you finish the conversations? Yes, teacher. Okay, Anita, um, would you like to present your conversation, Anita, and partners? But I only have the information of Byron. Okay, you and Byron, it's okay. Okay, Byron. Uh, Necesita este, participar él también, ¿verdad? Byron. Hello. Don't leave me alone, please. How, how do you I do? Got, te voy a hacer la pregunta y la contestar. Ok. What do you do, Byron? I am student. Oh, really? Where do you study? I am studying English. Really? English play? Yes. Okay. When do you start the class, Byron? To Monday to Thursday. In the time? When? At 1 p.m. Oh, really? Interesting. How do you get a, a, a class, English class? 
online. Oh, online class. Excellent. Yes. What activities do you do in English class? I am studying and I am practicing English. And you writing? You practice your writing too? Yes, I am writing. Okay. How often do you have vacation in your class? After finish the class. Excellent. Goodbye. Thank you. Good job. Applauses for Anita and Byron. The only thing is that I didn't, I didn't understand the last question, Anita. Can you repeat, please? Um, when uh, the class, uh, when, or, no, how often do you have vacation? Oh, how often do you have vacation? Vacation. vacation. Okay. Thank you, Anita. Nice. <laughs> do we have another person? Another group? It wasn't, I like the, the questions you make. You were, you were making WH questions, okay? Remember that when you say the class is third person singular, right? It. Okay, another group, maybe Tatiana's, no, Tatiana's group. No terminamos la conversación, teacher. Ah, pues la verdad. Pero no sé si la, pero no sé si la compañera con la que estaba. Estaba con Noemí y con Zulma. Con Zulma. Ajá. Okay, so, no sé si la van a hacer así o Monday. Monday. Monday, okay. <laughs> okay, Evelyn, Juan, and Carlita is the other group. Or the next group? Yes. Okay. Are you ready? Nosotros no quisimos ver que él que se había mandado. Ah, just practice that one. Y no hicieron otra. Pues tratamos ahí de, de practicar con, o sea, como cambiándole uh -huh. las cosas, pero, pero no sé. Y la otra compañera como que este, la escribió. Bueno. Yo hice una, pero no la alcance a terminar. Pero des, dice: Where does your best friend work? Eh, in a market. Oh, really? My brother works in a Coca Cola company. How does he like it? No, he does, he dislike. Because my my brother told me about this job is very hard with her with his. Oh, really? In the market, uh, my best friend told me, in the market is very easy than than work in a Coca Cola company. Well, and oh. hasta ahí me quedo. Okay, you have good ideas. You have good ideas. Okay, so maybe uh, Juan and Zulma, maybe you can make a, a conversation and you can present it on Monday. Tatiana, Noemi, and Evelyn will present. Bueno, no sé si me confundí ahí entre Zulma y Evelyn, pero you know the group. Una pregunta, teacher. Yes, Juan. O sea, teníamos que escribir nuestra propia conversación. Exactly. 
Ah, sí. me dio como bien la tarde. ¿no? Bueno, entonces, ¿y qué? ¿La hacemos y se la mandamos por el chat? ¿O por WhatsApp? Yes, but practice the conversation and you will present it in front of the class on Monday. Los quiero ir hablando. Speaking, speaking. <ríe> sí, que se les vaya el miedo a hablar. Los quiero escuchar hablar. ¿Ok? Speaking on okay. Monday. Mm -hmm. Ok, now with the next um, activity in the class. Bueno, yo creo que esta parte ya la pasaron en, el, en, el, en la plataforma, ¿verdad? WH Questions. Antes de pasar a la otra actividad, me gustaría saber if you have any questions about this topic. Any doubts? No sé si tienen alguna duda. What does no teacher. En esa pregunta. Ay, yo tengo una. Eh, en esa pregunta de how does. No, ya la quito. Espérenme. Eh, en esa pregunta de what does she do. Uh -huh. eh, podría decir what does he. Or es correcto decir para referirse. Si yo quiero hacerle una pregunta, usted tendría que ser, what does you do? Ah, para preguntarme a mí, sería, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Sí, ahí depende del sujeto, usted va a usar el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, de you. What do you do? ¿Qué haces tú? What do you do? ¿O qué hacen ellos? What do your brothers, por ejemplo, ellos, vea? What do your brothers do? Es tercera persona, plural. What do your brothers do? Solo en la tercera persona, he, she, and it, vamos a usar el das, ¿verdad? Ah, okay. Ajá, y... Entonces también podría ser, what does their cousin do? Cousins do. Eh, si es uh, si es uno what does your cousin do qué hace tu primo o tu prima what does your cousin uh -huh. do es que aquí el do es el verbo en este y aquí este es el auxiliar el primer do or does es el auxiliar el que usamos para hacer la pregunta y el do es el verbo este ve Ver. For example, yes. aquí tenemos un ejemplo. Where does your sister work? El verbo aquí es work. Pero usamos das como un auxiliar para hacer la pregunta, ¿verdad? Where does your sister work? ¿Dónde trabaja tu hermana? When does your sister work? ¿A qué horas o cuándo empieza a trabajar? ¿O a qué horas empieza a trabajar? How does she get to work? ¿Cómo llega a su trabajo? What activities does she do at work? ¿Qué actividades hace ella en su trabajo? How often does she have vacation? ¿Cuán a menudo tiene ella vacación? How often does she have vacation? Uh -huh. Entonces recordemos que siempre va a ir WH question first al auxiliar do or does dependiendo del sujeto, the subject, the verb, and the complement. Uh -huh. Ahí había otra pregunta en los ejercicios de la plataforma y es How does she like her job? Por ejemplo, ¿Cuánto le gusta su trabajo? How does she like her job? How does she like her job? Y estaba aquí en la conversación también donde decía How does he like it? How does he like it? ¿Cuánto le gusta? Y dice, not very much. No le gusta mucho. Porque no le gusta el manager. He doesn't like the manager. ¿Cuánto le gusta su trabajo? Entonces, si no hay más preguntas, vamos a seguir con eh, the next activity. Uh -huh. No more questions. No sé si en la plataforma 
solo a mí me da error, pero en, el, en la sesión 5 de la hora, ¿qué hora es? What time Cuando yo considero que no fue la correcta, siempre me aparece una X y cero puntos. Mm, va, sería de ver, si gusta y me le manda en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Para ver. Ahí me está dando. Vale. Vale. Mm -hmm. section 5, right? Okay, now, in the next activity we have placement of adjectives. Es como poner el adjetivo en inglés. Placement of adjectives. And we have a conversation. I'm going to read the conversation for you. I need a volunteer to read the conversation with me. I'm going to be Richard, and I need a Stephanie. Y coach. Okay, Juan Martinez. Ah, pues cambiamos. You are Richard, and I will be Stephanie. Okay, Juan. Hey, Stephanie. I heard you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not that. I am a firefighter now. You know. That's exciting. Yes, it's, but it's a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. Oh, I see. <laughs> Thank you so much, Juan. Great pronunciation. Okay, so um, can you notice, can you tell me the statements with adjectives? A ver, can you identify the statements with adjectives? The statements, las oraciones. Que tengan adjetivos with adjectives. Can you tell me? Um, the students are terrific. Okay, terrific. the students are terrific. That is one. Another one? Uh -huh. um, but it's a very stressful job. Exactly. It's a very stressful job. The adjective is stressful. Another adjective. Sometimes it's dangerous. Exactly, dangerous. Also this one, it's great. Okay, so in the adjectives in Spanish, los adjetivos siempre van después, ¿verdad? Del verbo. O, a, por ejemplo, decimos, eh, los alumnos son responsables, ¿verdad? Los alumnos responsables. Los alumnos responsables. La, la comida caliente. But in, in English it's different. First you have the adjective and then you have the noun. Pero aquí vamos a ver eso ahorita. B plus adjective and adjective plus noun. Bueno, the examples. The students are terrific. That's exciting. Sometimes it's dangerous. Si se fijan, aquí tenemos el verbo to be, dependiendo si es plural o singular. Plural are, singular is, y tenemos los adjectives terrific, exciting, and dangerous. The students are terrific, that is exciting, and sometimes it's dangerous. Los estudiantes son muy buenos, ¿verdad? Terrific, that's exciting, ah, y es emocionante. O algunas veces es peligroso. Y aquí tenemos, we have more examples. Our firefighter's job is dangerous. El trabajo de un bombero es peligroso. A doctor's job is stressful. El trabajo de doctor es estresante. Entonces, lo podemos usar así. Tienen que usar el verbo be y luego el adjetivo. ¿Alguien me puede dar otro ejemplo? Cualquier ejemplo.
Por ejemplo, si yo les digo, learning English is, you can complement. Aprender inglés es. Very. Ajá. Yeah. Ok, learning English mm, is very easy. easy. Ajá, learning English is, Nami. Difficult. It's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Carlita? I don't know. The, very, uh, the English is piece of cake. Oh, learning English is Thank a piece you. of cake. Uh -huh. Okay, it's a piece of cake. You are using a, an idiom. Okay, now we have the other example. Adjective plus noun. Look at these examples. Oops. En este... Tenemos adjetivo plus noun. Y es lo que les decía que es diferente en español. Porque en español primero decimos el sustantivo o la cosa o la persona y después el adjetivo. En inglés es diferente, es al revés. Los colores son adjetivos, así que siempre se van a decir antes. En vez de decir el carro azul, en inglés no va a ser the car blue, sino the blue car. The, the blue, blue car. Ajá, no decimos el carro nuevo. We don't say the car new, we say the new car. The no? new car. Exactly. Entonces aquí tenemos un ejemplo. A firefighter has a dangerous job. Un bombero tiene un trabajo peligroso. Pero primero vamos a poner dangerous, el adjetivo, y por último el noun. A doctor has a stressful job. Un doctor tiene un trabajo estresante. A doctor has a stressful job. Entonces siempre el noun va a ser de último. The adjectives goes before. Y aquí tengo otra imagen para mostrarles esto. Tenemos cómo lo podemos hacer de las dos maneras. What is an adjective? An adjective is a word that describes something, a person or something. Una palabra que describe a una persona o algo. The happy girl, la, la niña feliz, the happy girl. Tenemos primero el adjetivo y después el noun. The girl is happy. Tenemos el verbo to be y después el adjetivo. The girl is happy. O oh, we can say the happy girl. The same with the car is blue or the blue car. The intelligent boy, the boy is intelligent. Son diferentes ejemplos. Aquí tenemos más, adjective plus noun. Being a police officer is a dangerous job. It's a very stressful job. Pupusas are popular, are, ay, aquí se me fue. Espérame, ya lo voy a poner. Este, ok. Y en un momento. Me fue el A. Tenía hambre, creo yo. I was hungry. I was hungry. The teacher was hungry, estaba hambrienta. Bye. Pupusas are a popular dish in our country. El adjetivo es popular. And the noun, dish. Pupusas are a popular dish in our country. Son un plato popular en nuestro país. Entonces, these are more examples. Remember, adjectives before nouns. In English, adjectives often come before nouns. Example, the beautiful house. So, sería la, the correct form. That would be the correct form. Incorrect, the house beautiful. Eso sí está incorrecto. The expensive car, el carro caro. It's incorrect, the car expensive. Eso no está bien, esto está malo. Esto no lo vean. Look at this, the beautiful house, the expensive car. Mm -hmm. What time is it? It's two o'clock. 
Muy bien, entonces, hay, no sé si ya hicieron este ejercicio en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Pero está en este ejercicio y también tienen que completar el midterm esta semana, this week. You have to complete the midterm this week. ¿Verdad? Tienen que hacer ese ejercicio donde el midterm tiene reading, listening, vocabulary and grammar. Ok. Entonces dice, comparta su trabajo con otro compañero y con la clase. Pero como no tenemos tiempo, entonces ustedes, ¿qué van a hacer? Uh -huh. ¿Qué vamos a hacer, teacher? Bueno, ahora la tarea va a ser escribir oraciones. Así, miren, les pues voy a poner aquí un ejemplo. Con adjetivos. Y lo van a hacer de las dos maneras. Vaya, vamos a ver aquí un ejemplo. Por ejemplo, podemos poner. The food is delicious. ¿Verdad? En este caso sería noun plus adjective. Entonces vamos a hacer así cinco ejercicios así. The food is delicious. Eh, My house is big. My job is fantastic. My husband is happy. Otro que puede ser? The class is short. Es corta la clase, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer aquí? Ahora lo vamos a poner de la otra manera. ¿Cómo sería? Da primero el adjetivo y después el noun. The food is delicious. ¿Cómo sería? The delicious food. Exactly. The delicious food. My house is big. ¿Cómo sería? House. The big house. My job is fantastic. The fantastic job. O también pueden hacer así como I have a fantastic job. También pueden para hacer la oración, ¿verdad? I have a fantastic job. I have a big house. Mm. Puede ser como He eats Delicious food My husband is happy I have a happy husband My happy uh -huh, Happy husband uh -huh. And the class is short Puede ser, we have a short class. We have a short class. Pero si ven, le cambiamos, ¿verdad? Primero va the adjective and then the noun. Entonces, esto es lo que van a hacer. Five. Five and five. In total, ten. ¿Ya? Y lo compartimos en el WhatsApp. O en los foros de discusión también. Ahí lo pueden escribir. O en el WhatsApp. Ok, so that was the class for today. Do you have any questions? Uy, ya nos pasamos. Les voy a mandar la presentación para que la puedan tener aquí, ¿verdad? Ok, guys. See you Monday. Have a nice weekend. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. You're welcome. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. teacher. Bye. Bye, teacher.